Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, coming at you now from Wall Street. Still, I'm on my road trip across the West Coast, and this time right behind me is the Hoover Dam. Sorry if it's a little loud, we've got trucks passing by. We're on the Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge, which, by the way, I love that it's named after him. Rest in peace, Pat Tillman. And that dam right behind me right now, that's holding up so much water. All the water from the state of Nevada, some of Arizona, some of Arizona and some of California as well. And you know what the real question is, how are the markets holding up today? Let's take this moment to find out. The Dow Jones and the S&P 500 falling for a second day this Tuesday as the coronavirus continues to hammer the United States. The average number of COVID-19 hospitalizations rising by at least 5% in 36 states over the past seven days, according to the COVID Tracking Project. Wall Street also coming off a tough session with the Dow Jones posting its biggest one-day drop since early September. The decline due in part by the rising number of coronavirus cases and an inability by lawmakers to reach a new fiscal stimulus. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's spokesperson said on Twitter that the Democratic leader remains optimistic about a pre-election deal after Monday's phone call with Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin. And Caterpillar reporting a steep drop in year-over-year -year earnings, sending the stock down more than 3%, and AMD said it is buying rival Xilinx in a $35 billion all-stock deal in a push for the data center market. And lastly, some advice, sleeping bags are great.